called you up, said I need you now Cause I'm losing patience By four you were knocking on my door I said love is a two-way road He don't care no more, I'm not going crazy Needed you just to help forget it all And it was easy, you put the records on to Have all these jagged edges and so we're just gonna sand them. We're gonna use the Sawzall and just shave off a little more and then go back and sand it again because we've got these flat edges. We didn't take enough off in the beginning. We're re-measuring, taking it in a little bit There are a lot of ways that you can paint your MDF and most of the time people do primer first. This paint that we've got is a paint and primer in one, so we're going to try it out. The reason why you need primer first is because MDF will just kind of soak up all of the paint like a sponge. <laughs> got an Ace Hardware, it's the Clark and Kensington paint in the color Charcoal Pencil. Our first coat of paint is going to be a very thin layer so that it dries quickly and then we're going to sand it. Our first coat of paint has dried. This is about 120 grit. The reason why we do this is because the MDF soaks up all that paint and kind of swells and so we're just going to smooth it over. We're just wiping off all the dust. We're going to do three coats of paint and we don't think we're going to sand in between anymore. Okay, coat number three. This is a clock mechanism. So you can Google clock mechanism and you can get these online. So we're just gonna screw it in. This one is designed for up to a 40 inch clock. So our hole is a little bit smaller than 5 16 so that we could screw this in tight because this is 5 16 like diameter, the shaft is. The length of the shaft is 11 sixteenths and our board itself is a half inch, so here we go. So there it is. Now we're going to find like our 12 o'clock mark and the way we're going to do that is lay this on top and get it level. Okay. We're also going to mark 12 o'clock on the top of the clock, just so we can see. This is the order that we're going to put things on. We've got the washer, the nut, the hour hand, the minute hand, and then this is like a cap on top. Washer, nut. You oh, are you holding the back in uh -huh. place so that, okay, so it stays at 12 o'clock. Yep. Next, the hour hand. Pointing, where's our 12 o'clock? Minute hand. Okay, the cap nut. This is delicate work. We're gonna hang this on the back of the clock right at the 12 o'clock mark. So we can just hang our clock on the wall. I hear it, it's ticking. 